Hello, I'm James Helder. Welcome to a very special episode of the season so far here on Pitch Football. It's the turn of Leeds United. I am joined by some esteemed Leeds fans from across the country. Great to have you all with me. Um, I hope this finds you all well. How are we keeping? Very yeah, well. Yeah, well okay. yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, love that. Nice to catch up again, James. Yeah, likewise, Stevie. I really appreciate yourselves coming on the show today. Let's talk a little bit about Leeds United. Not in the Premier League placing that you would hoped for at the start of the season. Currently 19th in the Premier League. Um, yeah. let's, let's, let's go straight in. Stevie Adams Jr., what's your thoughts on Leeds United so far? What, what's your take on it? <clears throat> How long we got? <laughs> um, uh, well, it's not good, obviously. Uh, but I've, I'm 32 years old and I've been suffering for all of them 32 years. And uh, as the old song goes, we've been through it all together. We've had our ups and downs. We just keep going, regardless of what happens. We're Leeds fans. You cut us in half, it, we bleed. We bleed yellow, blue, and white. So we just crack on. Now, before um, before we go too far about getting on with things, what exactly has been going on? What's been going on at the football club? I'm going to go straight to Cody on this one. Um. So obviously. In the last couple of years, San Francisco, so San Francisco 49ers have been increasing their stakes steadily, um, and they are now 45% owners, along with Red Rosanna, who's 56% owner of Leeds. And I think that's part of the confusion and the the transition period of potentially going fully to 49ers, dependent on which division we're in next year, let's say, um, will we'll depend on that. Obviously, for me, I, I wrote a tweet the other day saying we, we 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 sat we backed Marsh and then sacked him, and that just doesn't make much sense to me. And I think there needs to be some accountability from the top of decision making at the club. And we should have either backed Marsh and kept him, or sacked Marsh after the Tottenham game, um, and then you know got a new manager in and let them get some players in in January. And then run with the rest of the season. It, it had to be one or the other for me. It seemed like a strange decision from looking from the outside to sack Jesse Marsh. They have backed him, like you say. He's brought in a whole heap of talent from from North America. Is it was it the right decision? Was it too early? What what's your take on it? And I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go straight to the man on the top left for this. What's your take on it? Me. Yes, Danny. <laughs> I'm going to go straight. Oh, to wait, sorry, mate. Right. Uh, well, I, I agree with what she said. What Cody says, they should have got rid of Marsh before before the World Cup. Uh, you can't yeah. replace Bielsa with somebody like him. We knew that. That everybody knew that who watches Leeds, uh, except the board. You know, I think the, the problem lies mainly with our defence. You know, we can't. We, it, it's garbage, and it's been garbage for years. Uh, we said at the end of, in Brighton game last season right at the end of the season. They need to spend 100 million on that defence. And they brought in Christiansen, who's worse than what we've already got. Uh, they just bought nobody. They bought all these attackers and wingers and all that. But I just don't get this. I don't get, I don't understand what they're watching. It just, you know, we're watching it every week. What are they watching, the owners? Because it's absolute. The defence is horrendous, horrific. You know, I don't know what the other lads think, but that's my opinion. They seem totally like and, uh, go on, sorry, mate. I totally agree with you. Mm. Yeah, they seem like they're it playing good football, but not getting points under Jesse Marsh. They're playing, seem to be playing reasonably well, but they're not, yeah. they're not getting any wins. What do you think the reason? Well, they, I don't know. They create defend. a lot of chances, and we can't, can't defend them. You know, yeah. if you if you if you stop conceding goals, you don't lose matches. I just don't know. I mean, Victor Arta. You know, when I asked, is he going to pop up from a box? Uh, I give him my opinion years ago at Preston. We bumped into him over at Championship. And he, the guy, I just don't understand why he's still there. He's out of his depth. Uh, you know, if he's advising Rasneri, I just don't understand. He, Rasneri's never, he's a bit too Bob. You know, I mean, the first season under Bielsa in the Premier League, we come in top 10. We finished 10th. It was unbelievable. And then they signed two players, Dan James and, and somebody else, when Man City won the league. 
They, yeah, for, but Man City won the league. Have signed, they signed about five or six players. You know, he thought he could get away with signing two players. Junior Firpo, I mean, to be honest with you, I'll give him his due Firpo. He actually looks half decent now because that defence is that bad that he's looking good. That's, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's yeah, I agree with that. I agree with it's, that. To but, you know, yeah. people like, you know, Laurenti, you know, Robin Cock, you know, he's just not good enough to play for Leeds. I'm sorry. That's it. The book I'll, stops I'll tell you there. Robin Cock, I'll tell you what he's doing. He's robbing a living. Yeah, well... He's robbing a living. <laughs> Liam Cooper, he's just... You know, listen, he's not Bielsa. Yeah, I think what what happens with Leeds is that a lot of them, uh, uh, that with Bielsa, you know, as you know, lads and ladies, yeah. with, you know, the the fitness levels with Bielsa were phenomenal, mm-hmm. and he took players who were like League One players to Premier League players, but yeah. he can't sustain it. And you look at all them players, including Calvin Phillips. Now they're all injury prone. Because, right. you know what I mean, I used to be a runner myself and you can only do it for a certain amount of time at a certain standard. And then mm-hmm. as you get older, you start picking up injuries, then injury, then injury. And that's what's happening with Leeds. They never backed Bielsa last season at all. And I don't care what anybody says about him wanting a small squad. I'm not having that. The no. chairman, the chairman is, is too Bob. He's been out of his depth since we went in the Premier League. He's not a Premier League owner. That's it. For me, he seems to be a businessman, not a football man. He is. That's correct. That is exactly what he is. Not a football man. Would you guys have been happy? Would you have been happy if Bielsa came in to replace Jesse Marsh? Yes. Oh yeah, hundred million percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, million percent. The thing with it, James, like you was just saying, like we've been playing some good football, but we've not been getting over the line. I don't think that's anything to do with the fact that Marsh had certain things like organised well or anything like that. I think that's because we do have some good players. Mm. We've, yeah. we've got yeah. like, yeah. if someone of the calibre of Bielsa had this squad at his disposal, he'd finish comfortably ninth like he did in his first season in the Premier League. People yeah, seem to correct. jump all over him in that second season, including in the press. They were so happy to hound mm. him out because of like things he'd upset like the the golden child in like Frank Lampard and it sort of upset mm. the apple part in the British press um, yeah. that they wanted rid of him anyway. So any little stumbling block that Leeds hit, it was, oh, Bielsa, he's burnt them out, he's done this, he's stubborn, he's this, that and the other. The fact of the matter yeah. is, all of his best players were injured. The whole spine of the squad was yeah. out yeah. injured, missing, and the board didn't back him and didn't do what they've done with Marsh this time round. What they should have done was back Bielsa bring in the players to strengthen the squad and leave that man in charge to keep us up. Yeah, because the right. other thing that people fail to realise is we weren't in the bottom three at any point under him. No, <laughs> no. no. We, we, we for a single second. No, we, Marsh we, came in and all of a sudden we was in the bottom three for pretty much the rest of the season and somehow luckily managed to get out on mm. the last game of the season it, because Brentford were already on the beach. And it, yeah. we, we stayed up sort of in spite of Marsh, I think. And I think yeah. what they should have done, if, if they wanted to get at that point and bring Jesse Marsh in, they should have done what they've done with Gracia this time and give him a contract yeah. till the end of the season and then reassess it. Because yeah. at, Don't promise at the end him the of world. the last season, if you'd have said to most Leeds fans, would you now go and back this man or would you like to reassess the managerial oh. situation? Most of us would have said, I'd rather get a better manager in. Because he was Correct. playing, yeah. he's playing Rafinha, wing back and getting him, he's the most skillful player mm. we have. We had him taking long throws. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. It's not when Roy Hodgson and Harry Kane and Cole. It's like, what, what's going on here? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk. Yeah, a, I mean, bit, let's sorry. talk a little bit about the new man coming in, Javi Garcia. I didn't have the best time at Watford the last time I remember him being on these shores. He is, did. Is he, he got sacked? Yeah. yeah, he did. Went to the cup final and got sacked after a dodgy start in this next season. Yeah, and yeah. He did good. Is he the man? To keep Leeds United in the Premier League, I mean, yeah. has to be. <laughs> I, I think it's too late now. I think we're already gone. I agree with that. I said late. it weeks ago. It's just really? too late. If we avoid it, James, it'll be like Moses part in the Red Sea. It'll be difficult. <laughs> I can't see I, it being avoided this time. I genuinely I think we'll think it's, back up again. It's down to this this Saturday's game. 
I agree. Sarah. If we and win, then, it's unlikely. You're we only a point. Agree. We're a point in front of Southampton. So yeah. You yeah. If we lose, we're dead this bottom. Is the game, isn't it? Yeah. This is yeah. the game. If you win this Saturday, the confidence is back. All of a sudden, like you can build a bit of momentum. Yeah. And yeah. you can go on a like a little run of form. Do you know what I mean? And it's there's a lot of sides down there, and there's not a lot of points in it. It's very, it's very tight. Very tight. Big point. When you look at it, Bournemouth, West Ham, they're all not far away from Everton. I know I've had a few wins. I think the, the loss to Everton was a big one for Leeds. It was, and it was it was like the one that, that we lost last season. For me, leave this season, and I've, I do my own little podcasts and stuff, and what we tend to do is teams around us, we never get anything. anything. Like, we, we, we drew to West Ham, and that's about it. And we beat Bournemouth, luckily. Very lucky. Mm-hmm. That that was the last time we won in the league, guys. And you know, the last time that Victor Art were giving it the big up, big, big all, and then mm. uh, he's such that. a prick, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> he's yeah. got a go. Well, I mean, he shouldn't. I mean, what in what other walk of life would he still be in employment? Because it's you know, it's a joke. You know, they just sit there smug, and like you said, they're giving it out at the Bournemouth game. And since that, there's a fact that we're the only team who's not won a game. In, yeah. in the Premier, in, in the, any all four divisions, no other team since that day when we beat Bournemouth, we're yeah, the only team who's not won a game. Yeah, since the then, other, and the I, that was thing. months ago. The other I mean, no disrespect to Middlesbrough fans, but how on earth has Victor Arta been at Middlesbrough and then gone up to Leeds? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> the the other thing we've all is a tin shed and we're a massive club. It's, yeah, but we it, might be passing them. Middlesbrough might be going up. Yeah, you know we'll be mean? going and down. Yeah. Up. We'll, we'll be going down. I mean, can you Enough see? You can you can you see us coming back up? Yeah, straight yeah. next season. I think we'll come straight back up. This is a question yeah. I wanted Providing to ask. We keep certain players. Last I'm time Leeds, <laughs> last time Leeds went down under the Risdale era, Jesus Christ, it took a long time and a lot of pain to get Leeds back into the Premier League. Sixteen the top, years. Yeah. Sixteen yeah. years. 16 years. I was still in is, there, is there a worry if Leeds do the unthinkable and drop out the Premier League that they could free fall? No, no, no. no. it's different circumstances. We're, we're not completely no, really different. It's financially, mm. we were absolutely stuffed, putting it politely. Yeah. They'll spend money we didn't have, mm. and we're not in that situation anymore. Yeah, I'm fully aware of the Risdale situation and I'm fully aware of Leeds' financial in, in this, uh, situation. But the thing is, football isn't played on paper. Correct. It's free fall quite yeah. easily when you start dropping out of leagues, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, look, well, look, look, said... look at Burnley, though. Look at Burnley. They've got a right yeah. manager there. You know, Vincent Company is doing absolutely fantastic. I'll put it on record. The, the, the team, they managed to retain quite a lot of it. Therefore, the, the making it long, at least looks like the making the bounce straight back up. Mm. You know, well, that I should think, be our aspiration. That's, yeah, that's, but I think Bert, point for, if we can right. retain certain players, we have absolutely zero issues in that league next year. But the problem is, we have got an history of being a selling club. So, like the players, league, not go. It will go. It will oh, go. Bro. So, so some of the Aaron players are uh, Tyler Adams. Hopefully, he'll stay, but you. You could just see nah. Liverpool come and snapping him up. N- none of them boys would stay. No chance. You could just no, see- I don't think. I agree with you. I don't think they will. No. The, the, the players, the, the, young that players will- the fringe players, the people like Cody Drama can't get anywhere near our team. He goes down yeah. into the mm. championship last season and gets that player of the fucking season for Cardiff. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the players yeah. that well, the players that will have are the players that are in the championship right now. Jock yeah. scored for Sunderland recently. Leo Held is absolutely, you know, getting great plaudits at Rotherham. Charlie but Cresswell, why, why, why Charlie... is he not at Leeds? Why are these I... players not at Leeds now? Well, they're better than what we've got playing in the I, first I, I, team. Exactly. The, the, the defence, Charlie Cresswell, I don't know why we've got to let him out on loan. Gary Rowett came out yesterday and said he's a fantastic player and he's going to be a top mm. player. You know, He and... should be playing. should have Where... built the defence around him. If you're not going to spend money, I've just said, the defence is pathetic. We all agree yeah, with that, don't yeah. we? And it has Still been all season. Well. It was last It was last season. And then he kicks off the season and all he's doing, we haven't even got a left-back at the club. So then he loans a left-back to Rotherham, a young lad, and we've, we're left with Furpo. And Furpo's mm-hmm. shining because the rest of them are that bad. I mean, strike, he's not a left-back. No, he's, you know, not. he's out of his depth there. 
They're running he's rings at him. Half. You know, he's and then he's pitch. probably he's, be, he's probably our best centre half, and he's playing he left is. back. He is. It's, I, I I've always been left by strike. Yeah, yeah. Um, not a left back. No, no, he's never he's seen a left back, has he? Been he's playing been left back. Been, it's been detrimental to him now because when he last played centre half, now it's like he's forgot how to play centre back. Yeah, he, yeah. He, it's it's so detrimental playing all these players out of position. And I, to be honest, I think it all stems again from Orta. Like, I know he's not picking the team, but he he's putting the players in the in the side. And the yeah. problem with it is, I've never known. A, well, to be honest, I couldn't tell you any other directors of football anyway. Like. I've never known a director of football with such an ego that he has to be the forefront of everything the club's doing. He's the one sitting front row, front and centre of everything the club does. And he's too, he's got too much of an ego that any player he brings in, he's too proud to admit that it's not working. So he just persists and persists and persists because all he wants is on his CV. Oh, I brought Junior Furpo in and it went really well in the end. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, when that's, he, he, what you there—that's the problem. In the end, yeah, these guys, these guys are being paid a lot of money. I don't want in the end. I want it immediately. Yeah, immediately. well, he was giving it out, giving it out at Brentford Premier League because of me. You know, what I mean, what what kind of statement yeah. that? He should it's have been ridiculous. hoisted then. Impossible to be ridiculous. in a relationship that one, all reds. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. It's, I mean, the fact is, we're, we're going to go because of his defence, and that, that's a simple fact. And, it, you know, it beggars belief in January. I mean, Wuber's come in, and he looks all right, yeah? I'm not yeah. going to go at the guy. Yeah. But then you put him at the side of the cock, or Cooper, and you think, you know, what's this guy thinking? They've signed, they've signed him up, but then they, it's, then they go and sign Ruta, and you think, I just don't get it. You know what I mean? They're spending £35 million on a forward. We've got He's enough crap. forwards. We need He's defense. He can't keep. He can't keep up. Unbelievable. You know what? Though? The players that the, the players that have actually come in and done well. You know, I would say Jesse Marsh brought them in. The Jesse Mar the Jesse Marsh boys. You know, yeah. Adams, McKenney. Those two players are Jesse Marsh boys, and those two players are the players that have shown this season. And That's I'd argue those two together. Is better than Calvin Phillips any day of the week. This is what I mean. Uh, if you're going to back him, I'm you've got to give him it. a chance to get out, haven't you? Since he's I left, think... you haven't had any results. You've been yeah. looking more lacklustre than when he was there. I think the yeah. players liked him as well a little bit. I've got that, that feeling. I think that's yeah, they, they should have, they should have had the problem, him. though, James. He's, 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 he's too nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a nice I mean, bloke, he, he, Marsh. Yeah, I mean, he is a yeah. nice bloke. You know, and and that was his issue, I think. He's, he was he a bit like that. Thomas, a bit like Thomas Christiansen as such. You know, yeah, we played all right under him, played yeah. some decent football, but he was too much of a nice guy, and you knew yeah. he weren't going to last because no. that that's that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? But, they should be but like I, player liaison managers, shouldn't they, rather than an actual. Yeah. yeah. Should they should they have gone for a relegation specialist? Rather than no, 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 no. I, 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 someone I, that can steady the ship and keep leads in the Premier League on a short term contract this season. The thing, the thing, no. the thing, is, the thing is, you you say that they actually have. Gracia is a relegation yeah. specialist. If, if mm. you look at his CV, like I, I didn't know too much about him. All that I had in my head was his name used to annoy me when he was Watford manager because I always used to think it was Garcia. That's all yeah. I remembered about him. Exactly. <laughs> but, Exactly the same. If you look at his record, he went in at Watford, kept them up, and then the following season, they had their highest finish in their history of their, their club, and he FA got them to an FA Cup final. He went in at Haraga, kept them up when they were struggling and had financial problems. He'd done the same at Valencia, and then because these clubs are troubled, because he don't have a, a start of the, the next season where they're in the top 10 or top 6 or whatever, like they sack him. So Watford, mm. for example, they finished 11th, the following season, they sacked him after four matches. No, with, four games. With, with, with the no, Watford Jerry, one, he did a, artic- it, I think you articulated with, that really well, to be honest. I think you make a lot yeah. of points. With, with, yeah. the, with, the Thanks, Watford, with the Watford one, he actually didn't keep them up. There's this misconception that he kept them up. So when he came in at the Wat- up, up to Watford, they were 10th. So he followed Marco Silva. Marco Silva were rumoured to be uh, looking elsewhere at Everton, 
etc etc so Watford actually sacked Marco Silva before him, yeah. he could le- leave and look at him you know so he came in when they were 10th and they actually finished um 14th in the table um under Gracia um so mm. yeah he didn't well, I mean, look as such. yeah, but I mean, Watford, Watford's owner's like Chilino, isn't he? Yeah, he's insane. Yeah. You know what he's I mean? Whoever they are, they'll just sack anybody. Just right point, you know what I mean? Harry, if you throw a cigarette out of the car window, you'll be sacked at Watford. It's like I just it's not footballing reasons, is it? I mean, you know, yeah. they lose a game yeah. and you're sacked. It's crazy, yeah. like Chilino days, you know. But I mean, so I, I wouldn't take anything serious. What happened to him at Watford? Yeah. No. Because it's just a it's just a thankless task. What, yeah. in my yeah. opinion, always worst, has been. The worst thing the club have done though is Rad's again having a couple of glasses of wine, getting on Twitter and giving it to Biggin. Like, mm. yeah, he why, really needs why, to stay away from Twitter. Why <laughs> make a on your own back and say, "Oh, white smoke this evening"? Like, we're getting someone oh. in and give all the information of the people we're going after are in management. We've got a couple of targets. Some will be in like tomorrow or whatever. Because now, all that happens is the fans are going, well, where's the manager? A couple mm. of days ago, where the fuck's the manager? Yeah. And then it goes yeah. further and further. It comes out in the press. You're, you've gone after him. You've gone after him. That, they don't want to know because it's too yeah. late in the season. And then yeah. all of a sudden, yeah. everyone knows that Gracia is like fifth, sixth choice. Whereas if they had yeah. just shut up and then brought the guy in yeah. without saying anything, I think yeah. there'd be a bit of a different feel about it with all the fans as well as the players and everyone around the club. I think they've sort of, they're, they're making a rod for their own back. And they're sort of like this weekend, if we go and, and fail to beat Southampton, because I even think the draw is catastrophic. We need to win. If we fail to beat them on the weekend, it's going to be a horrific place to be, Ellen Road. Mm. Yeah, it, it is. And I won't, I won't mind, but it's just such a lead thing to do that. He probably won't be managing on, on Saturday because he's waiting a work permit. I was just going to no. say, yeah. this, you, you, make, won't get you, it. Make a, you make a great <laughs> point. He's only worked 37 months in Europe as a manager mm. recently. And with a new Brexit rule, he hasn't yeah. done enough get work to get a work permit. So it's quite possible he could be watching from the sidelines on Saturday, which would be a real yeah. blow for Leeds. What's your, what's might, your thoughts on it? What's your thoughts on it, Dennis? Well, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he's on a beach on a phone giving directions to the team. Because <laughs> nothing would surprise me with Rasneri. Honestly, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's just so pathetic. They were after Anderlecht's manager. The top of the Dutch league. Uh, they Feyenoord. Top, you know, uh, so, Feyenoord, sorry. He's, he's after him. And he's like expecting him to give up the treble to come to Leeds, you know, in a relegation fight. Like, this would, is the buff- this is the buffoonery of the people that are in charge. Ego, They've got big egos. They seem to think yeah. that they because they convince Bielsa to come in into the club that they can get anybody. And, and the, that the took problem, them a long the time. Fact of the, matter is, the only reason the only reason Bielsa came was because of the project. It weren't because of the owners or what they're going to do in there. No. He wanted them to give him power. And it was yeah. the fact that he was a sleeping giant. It's a one, yeah, city, it. one city club, this, yeah. that, and the other. And it ticked every box for him. And yeah. the fact of the matter is, you look at their, their decisions over the course of their ownership and the tenure at the club. You take the Bielsa managerial decision out, there's not a lot to write home about. They brought no. in that stupid badge, thought that was a great yeah. idea. Yeah, like, that was stupid. Well, that was a you look at their decisions, it's, it's laughable. And they just they, mm. they fell on their landed on their feet with the Bielsa move, and as soon yeah, as I think that they got, they got, club, I think they got lucky with again. Bielsa. I think they got lucky with Bielsa. Yeah, they did. You know, I mean, we, he's a phenomenal manager who turned, like I said, League One players into Premier League players. But it, it can't sustain it. That's why he, he was only two or three years at a club. But if yeah. they backed yeah. him and brought players in, I mean, the- you know. It's like now Rodrigo, right? I mean, I've never been a massive fan of Rodrigo, but without him, I mean, you look, you look at the games, Forest, Crystal Palace, right, Villa, we absolutely annihilate them for star and don't score. They have mm. one shot and it's in the net. First you attack know, it, every time. It's, Man United at home, I mean, you know, the second half, it were like the Alamo. 80 minutes, they go up one shot, it's in. <laughs> it's an yeah. header and it's in the net. It happens every game. It's so annoying. You know, it's like the, the away Forest are the worst team of anybody I have seen in that Premier League this season. They're the worst team 
How you can lose to them beggars belief. I know they drew with Man City, but I don't know what happened there because against us they were absolutely atrocious. They were, they were the worst team. Stuff. Even a blind squirrel find a nut once once a day. Yeah, and we couldn't. Yeah, but we can't score. Right. We can't score. We can't score against Forest. How many chances did we have? Yeah. All you needed to do was put two. one of them in. Yeah, so the star you know, had to ban for them. Is Bamford is Bamford part of the problem? The fact you're not. I think he, he, he was on Saturday. Is. He was Saturday. He was pathetic think on Saturday. As, good as, as many people think he is, he's Bamford. not a natural goal scorer. Bamford, and that's only one goal... thing we're missing. Yeah, it was we only need good. a natural goal scorer. Mm. He was only I mean, really good. Well, our best performance of the season was probably Arsenal at home, and we got beat yeah. one now. Correct. You know, again, that was that was a game. That yeah. was a game. If it, if, it had been, if it had been eight one to Leeds, you were at the game. You wouldn't have been surprised. No. It was so, we're so dominant. You'd have thought Arsenal were lucky at eight one. Yeah, honestly, how, how, how on earth did we lose that game? It, no, it, that, it, it was unbelievable. The chances were created. It's like just, you can't. And the, same against Man U. That second half, when it, it's the raining on. Own goal, all the chances. They can't put it in the net, yeah. and they go up and score. It, that that sums leads up, but yeah. it's the defense. The defense is our problem. It has been all season. It was last season, and I think it'll take us down this season. Yeah, because For me, like as a Leeds fan, as a lifelong Leeds fan, I will never, ever, ever fault their endeavor, their efforts, their willing, their heart. Ultimately. They're just not good enough. And, yeah. and 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 sometimes you look in the mirror. We've all done it in our lives. Sometimes you look in the mirror and you think, I'm just not good enough. Mm. And, and, you know, and that's up to the owners now. Because them players have taken us as far as they can take us. The likes yeah. of Luke Ayling. I love Luke Ayling. I really do. He's brilliant. And he runs his absolute socks off every week. Is he... A world class right back for no. me, no, he's not. Liam Cooper, the same, he'll die for you on that football pitch, but he's not good enough. Yeah, he's not. He's not. But, I mean, the, the way to look at Leeds's defense is exactly what you're saying. Them defenders from right back to left back in between, are they would they play? Would you would they be picked in any other Premier League team? No, who are in there, no, honestly, no, and on art, would they? They wouldn't, no. would they? No, they wouldn't. And maybe and Verba. All... Maybe Verba. Verba yeah, but... yeah, no, yeah, 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 I agree with you. He's done okay, but again, you're putting him at the side of Robin Cock or you know Laurent. I mean I mean the friendly was the best ever. And when we played the I can't remember what they were, there's some French team came over just before the World Cup had ended. And yeah. it was we were, we were winning Not one nil or something. Well it won all half time. And yeah. then he brings Laurenti on. Yeah. And within within like the blink of an eye, it's four one. It's yeah. Like, he's absolutely oh, unbelievably bad. That, that, beggar's you know, like, that was deal of the century selling him for what we have. It well, we haven't sold him yet. Have we? I mean spaghetti well, legs we can't. No, but he's, he's just they've got an obligation. They're gonna find at the end of the season, aren't they? But, yeah, yeah, but, but would but, you would would you obligate that set would that would you buy him after seeing him? Because Rome I don't know what Marino Obligated, sir. Yeah. Mourinho's mm. got an obligation. He has to buy him. Yeah. Oh, does he? Right, yeah. good. The obligation. <laughs> well, that, that's, what, that's one less problem, man. No, that, you gone. were saying, James, you were saying about, like, is, is Bamford part of the problem and that? Yeah, yeah. Exactly I, think, that. I think he's he's um, injuries and that have hampered us massively because he, yeah. was, a, he was a figurehead of the, of the way we play. And I think even when he doesn't score... He's vital to how well the, yeah. the team performs with everything yeah. he offers off the ball and all of his press and everything is vital. But I think one of the major problems was Jesse Marsh brought in this leadership group and he tried to sort of implement the, the almost like a, a faux, a fake leadership group of all these players that he wanted to sort of step up and and take charge on the on the field mm. and in training this that and the other because. One of the ma massive things where we faltered was a couple of seasons ago, letting a lot of our influential like senior pros leave the club. And even though they, some of these players wouldn't have been playing regular, 
I think it was ridiculous to let Berardi, Alioski, and Hernandez yeah. all leave in the same mm. window because you took three massively influential people out of the tra- dressing room where mm. I think they'd have just been better off being part of the squad. And and ironically, it turned out that there was injuries in all of their positions and they would have ended up playing anyway. Yeah. But I think... But you see, not only in the squad were the influential... Them, he's almost tried to them. promote other players to, to replace mm. that and it's never really... It's, it, it's not what they're naturally doing. It just doesn't work. Yeah, I think Pablo Pablo wanted to go home, didn't he? So, I mean, mm. take him aside. But Berardi and Alioski Ali especially, I totally agree with you. Massive have never, ever got rid of him. How can you replace him with Firpo? I mean, he, was a, he, he was a town clown, Alioski. <laughs> but he believe you and me, he used, I'll tell you what, he was a kind of player. If he were playing against you, you would hate him. And that's yeah. that's oh. that's proper Leeds. That's a proper yeah. Leeds player. You know what I mean? And mm. when he went, I'd have him back tomorrow. Were like, I thought, how can you get rid of him? But he just he probably wanted a two year contract. He'd have, he'd have still been he'd have been our left back now. Yeah, but he would be in this position now if he'd have, if he'd have stayed. I'll tell you, no way on earth. Still, he would still be tormenting Premier League players. Right. He that's would, what yeah. would ask, though. He would. They, they weren't willing to give Alioski thirty grand a, a week and a two year deal. But instead, they went and spent 14 million on Furpo and give him 60 grand a week. Yeah. yeah. And he's half the player. And he's, yeah, he's, he's it, it's too, Bob. The, the, the chairman, the bookstock, the chairman, Arter, all the rest, they're just too, Bob, I'm afraid. They're not Premier League owners. And that, that's, no. that's, that's, that's what the problem's been since we went up. That's why Bielsa got sacked. They've replaced him with the, PA, the American PE teacher, is what they say. You know, but I, yes, just, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, can you imagine? It's an easy, given it's an easy option for quid. him, isn't it? If they'd given Bielsa 100 billion quid, yeah. the players they'd they have brought he, him. Yeah, they said he didn't want it. I mean, have you ever heard such bull? You know, Rubbish. it's like it, absolute it's garbage. Tenor, the fact Rubbish. that they've, they've like tried to make contact with Bielsa since he left, and he won't even yeah. answer their calls. No. They've tried to contact him about naming the training ground after him. And yeah. he, Brad's I, even put it in his um, statement the other week. He said, we're still waiting to hear back from him. This is like a year and a half later. He's not interested. Yeah. He, don't want to, he don't want to... Yeah, but did you, did you see that two, he was there for two, two and a half hours after he was sacked? You know what I mean? Saying goodbye. Saying his goodbyes. He must have spent that long just going around and thanking people. I know. That yeah. just tells it's, you what sort of man he was. Sorry. You I, know, I, I, he just looked... I, you know, I mean... Like, yeah, I mean, I don't know about you, lads and lasses, but when he got sacked, you know what I mean? We're 100% leads, aren't we? Aye. But do, do, go into the game now, you know what I mean? There's like 10% of me just mm. died. Yeah, I yeah. lost it when he went. Because Wait, it's just, it's not never going to be the same. He was the mm. guy who brought us back. Yeah. And I just thought he should have been backed. Yeah. And that's it. You know, yeah. if he'd have backed him. When Bielsa really got going with us, I hadn't felt that way since David mm. O'Leary. Yeah. yeah. And that is yeah. a long, long yeah. time. Same here, mate. Same that was here. the last time. That was the last time I felt like Leeds was a family. Yeah. Well, I've yeah. been going since I've been going since seventy-two. <laughs> I'm an old man, you know yeah. what I mean. So I've sort I've sort of seen the Revy sort of era, you know. Yeah. And then I've seen the absolute dross of the late seventies. You know what I mean? Where we getting levered four 0 by Watford at home on a Tuesday night. I've seen all yeah. that. And then the rise back through the eighties under Billy, FA Cup semi final. You know, Hillsborough, fantastic. And then Wilkinson took us. And then, like you say, it was it. We, we just died as a team because of Risdale, because of what he, he had a dream, didn't he? And it failed. Yeah. But Bielsa brought everything back, galvanised the city. Yeah. You know, he walked around the city meeting people. Just yeah, what other football team does that? What they other don't. football team? Uh, because they're all Pep Guardiola. There's Pep Guardiola hanging around, around Burger King in Manchester Town <laughs> Centre <laughs> with Eric Tag Hag or whatever he's called. I don't think he, he does. does. I don't think he but does. Be, do Bielsa <laughs> walked walk around like, meeting people. You know, I never met him. I've never met the bloke, but I feel no. I know him. You know no, what I mean? I, uh, he, he, he was I'm absolutely. Kidding. The, my 100% hero and part of me has gone. And yeah. I just, what, what we would dream of is that they went at the end of the season, whoever comes in and bring him back. I know, you know, it's not going to happen, 
But whatever, our, to... our idea was that for me. Bring him could on. You, what... Could you imagine that? If if we say say for example we go down, and mm. whoever comes in and takes over the club after these clowns bugger off, because I don't think it'd be mm. the forty nine if we do go down but whoever it is say they they reinstated him bring him in mm. they, they've got to back him it would just they've be got to chuck him. it would be unbelievable mm. mate the whole club would it, it, like it'd be revived again just from that one thing bringing that guy back yeah the way they treated him after what he'd done well they would was, have to back was, him yeah they would yeah. travesty mate never mind all, all squad nonsense it's rubbish if you chuck mm. him under the wood, he'll he'll drag no, yeah. no, not a problem. <laughs> I know I touched on this already with the relegation battle and will they, won't they stay up? But we're just going to revisit it now. We're coming to the to the a business end of the show. Cody, I'm going to go straight to you on this one. Will <laughs> Leeds United stay in the Premier League this season? What's your take? Heart, heart saying yes. Head saying no. Um, I'll be honest with you. My heart, my heart, my heart is saying yes. My heart still thinks. Oh, there's, there's still points to play for, 15 games, you know, a mini, mini round. But my head, my head saying no. Uh, but I've not, I've not seen much of Leeds in being great, to be fair. Like, you know, I hear, I hear people say, like, they, they were there, you know, with O'Leary. I can't even remember O'Leary. You know, last time that I felt great before um, Bielsa came in, we were under Simon, Simon Grayson. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> that 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 sh- that shows a little bit about like uh, my age and you know the yeah. time I support as leads really so but mm. yeah no I don't but I hope I hope um if he does get <laughs> his work permit accepted Javier Gracia can um, prove me wrong Gracia. there Gracia 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 <laughs> whatever he's called <laughs> so many different pronunciations of him. Yeah, Stevie, Stevie, does he keep Leeds in the Premier League this year, or is it a rebuilding job for Happy Gracia next season? And you've known me a long time. No, no, he doesn't. We we'll go down. We we'll come straight back up again. That's how I feel. We we'll go Dennis. down. We we'll come straight back up. Dennis, what's your take? No, I, I think I think it's too late. I said before. I think it's it, we've gone too much now. I just can't see us winning matches with that defence. You know, I can't honestly can't see us beating Southampton. Even if we do, I mean that that performance against Everton were a must win. And you, you have you watched that game? The the, the body language just wasn't there. I, I don't, you know, a new manager etc. Might get a bit of a bounce. I think that's what they're hoping. But I honestly, just can't see us winning enough game. Can't see us beating teams like Brighton and Crystal, well, Crystal to- Palace maybe. Oh. Away from home, I can't see where points are coming from. And we need to win two away games. I just can't see it. Sorry. It'd be nice to score a goal. <laughs> Terry, what's your take on it? Will having Gracia keep Leeds United in the Premier League this season? Or is it a rebuilding job for next season? Oh, it's so hard to answer, mate. I just don't know. Um, I'm, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he's going to keep us up. I really am. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be positive. Someone someone's got to be, ain't they? So yeah, yeah I, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say we're gonna go and win this weekend at Southampton, um, and almost put a lot of the doubts to one side, and then mm. I think yeah, it will be a, a bit of a a run from there. Like we've got Chelsea away after that. Oh, nice um, we've got Fulham in the cup. Chelsea are struggling. We've already turned them over. Her, we'll probably win the FA Cup. Win, win, all of a sudden. Yeah. So, you Magic, know what? Mag- keep us up. Magic of the FA Cup. We'll win the FA Cup. Yeah, I'll we'll probably win the Cup and go down. Yeah. I'll have that. I'll have yeah, that. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Beat Man oh. U in final. Oh, Bet done. Barnsley. Wednesday night in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can see it now. I've got to say, it's been a great pleasure to have you lot on the show today. Thank you very much, Not man, James. Stevie, yeah, Terry and Cody for making themselves available for the Pitch Football Podcast, the Leeds United Probably. edition. I, I personally hope Leeds United stay up. I want the big clubs with big history <laughs> in the Premier League. So I'm talking yeah. Leeds, Forest, even like his, likes his Sheffield Wednesday and Sheffield United. I, I want clubs with big history to be in the Premier League. I think that's what it's all about. It makes it the league more exciting. 
really does. Yeah. It? There's a lot of points to play for. You've got 15, 16 games. You've also, in your favour, the teams around you are not that far away. You're not cut mm. adrift at this point. There's still a lot to play for. So Saturday's game will be key against Southampton. That is a I will say, I will say though that I said we'd go down last season and we didn't. So there you go. It might be an omen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will find out as the season unfolds. Thank you very much, for you guys. Um, please make Thank sure you. you download our free app, Pitch Footy, for all the latest fan competitions, giveaways, debates. You name it, we've got it on there. Um, if you're watching this on the YouTube, check out our Spotify and check out all the social medias at Pitch Footy for more football-related content. Thank you very much. Top man. Cheers. Thank Cheers, you, man. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Uh, Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.